people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living in return with having. There is always a lying policeman who likes to believe he's in charge of me. But what I'm going to say to that motherfucker who's walking through the parking lot now is that my police are watching him today. For every lying officer who thinks they're in charge of me, they cannot prove they did not harm me. They cannot prove they've not been called from by some bitch in a banful community who thought she had rights to me. These people pay good dollars to have their pets groomed, but what they did was fuck themselves in every way. The plate I'm giving to you now will get him hit to the ground. The liars of the world often do this so they cannot be found. The morons of America think that they are above another human life, but what they learn is that their lie has costed them their life. When Jesus hits your life, where are you going to be? What will he say to you about your paltry lies? Your lie was thinking you had rights to somebody. I see the abuse on internet networks by employees. I see the lies that police play, that they have the right to slow things down, edit things, and do things their way. What we know about a police officer is he always looks like one despite what he's wearing. He is almost always incorrect in how he shows himself because he's trying to be overbearing. What we know about mobbing today is that the most impressive, intelligent people of the world were mobbed in a way that cost them their lives. Tesla was one of them. Others are intellectual people, and we don't have to go through the list. You can find it on the internet. But the fools of society are the idiots in retail variety who don't recognize that their job does not entitle them to interfere with the man's computer or the ears of other people who listen to them. The foolishness of a child has been playing on a man's computer. The foolishness of an immoral man has been costing him the keys that he needs to type and do his work. And the liars in retail are almost always the mousy girls or the overweight women who haven't figured out how to take care of themselves in a way that God is proud.